Doria continues to serve as Daenerys' handmaiden as the small remains of the Colossa make their way through the Red Waste. She is fascinated with her dragons, and asks her what Viserys knew of them, only to be told that he knew, nothing of dragons. Daenerys's silver horse dies during their journey as a result of thirst and or hunger. Daenerys halts the majority of the column and sends her blood riders to scout ahead. Cavaro returns having reached the city of Carth. Daenerys leads her people there but is dismayed when she is refused entry by the ruling elders, the Thirteen. The Kalasa are eventually admitted, but only after Daenerys threatens to burn the city to the ground once her dragons are grown. They all enter under the protection of Zaro Zo and Daxos after he invokes Sumai. Zaro welcomes Daenerys into his home, giving her people accommodation and buying her gifts. Later, Eri watches as Daenerys and Doria lean on the stone balcony of their residence. Drogon is perched on the edge of the balcony with a lump of raw meat between them. Daenerys instructs Drogon to breathe flame on the meat by saying Dracarys, the old Valyrian word for dragon fire. Drogon does as she commands, charring the meat. Doria and Daenerys watch the dragon gleefully as he feasts on the cooked morsel. Daenerys says that Drogon will be able to feed himself from now on. Doria reaches for another lump of meat but Daenerys instructs her to let Drogon sleep. Doria holds out her hand to help the dragon back into his wooden cage and he climbs onto it. Daenerys tells Doria that the dragon loves her, eliciting a frown from Iri. Doria picks up a dress from the bed and asks if Daenerys has seen it. She tells her Zaro had it made for her and reports hearing that he is the wealthiest man in Karth. Iri concurs with her fellow handmaiden. Doria adds that Karth is the richest city in Essos. Daenerys tells Doria that they know nothing about their host and suggests that men often speak about other men when they are happy, suggesting that Doria seduce some of Zaro's fellow citizens to obtain more information. Doria says that Daenerys would look like a real princess in Zaro's dress and Eri objects to the title, correcting Doria that Daenerys is a Khaleesi. Eri breaks the ensuing awkward silence by encouraging Daenerys to wear the dress as a guest's courtesy to Zaro, who throws a reception for Daenerys in his gardens. Doria and several of the Kalasa are also present. Daenerys is pleased to see Doria ingratiating herself with several of the men present, suggesting she will use such men to gain information on Zaro's intentions. When they return home later, Daenerys's men have all been brutally murdered, her dragons stolen, Iri lies dead on the floor and Doria is missing. Daenerys tells Ser Jorah that she believes Doria is dead. After Daenerys retrieves her dragons from the House of the Undying, she finds a sleeping Doria abed with Zaro, revealing that she had in fact betrayed Daenerys and her dragons to the conspirators, as well as being involved in the deaths of Daenerys's other servants. Doria's pleas for her life fall on deaf ears, as Daenerys has her and Zaro locked inside the latter's vault, leaving them to die.